Hi, I'm Brian, and today on my YouTube video, I'm going to review a uh, DeWalt DCS551 that I've owned for about a year. This is DeWalt's answer to a tool made by RotoZip that's commonly called a RotoZip, and it's really just a spiral cutoff tool. And uh, RotoZip may have been one of the first ones to popularize it, but this is an excellent, excellent tool. Um, among other things, it's cordless. So I'll talk about the features of that in here in just a second. And I'm also uh, trying out a couple of new GoPros um, that should help me get some close-up footage. So I'm gonna clamp this in here. I have some adjustable clamp mounts that I got on Amazon. So uh, at any rate, the uh, DCS 551 is part of their Max XR series of lithium ion battery powered tools. This will give you about an hour to two hours of cutting time. It recharges in about 30 to 45 minutes on the charger. Um, I've been running them for a year with no problems. Great system. It has been dropped, abused. Um, I'm finishing up 6,500 square feet of sheetrock that's been done with this. All of my outlets have been cut with it. Um, so one of the features that I really like is it comes with a nose guard and the nose guard literally just slips in on and off and, and it can be height adjusted. So uh, you can see here that it just slips in and slips out. Just very, very easy. It also has a push button that you can use to grab the collet and turn. So when you want to load a bit and it takes standard Rotozip 1 8 inch bits, oh, looks like I've got a bit in here, so I'm going to push the uh, shaft lock and then I'm going to unlock the collet. So what I'm doing is pushing this button and then turning. And then I'll just remove the old bit, put the new bit in, and then again I'll lock the, the shaft and grab the collet lock. It's basically a built-in wrench. And it, sometimes when you push it, it'll stay engaged, but other times you just have to push it every time you grab the collet. And now you can see here it's engaged, and it's important to disengage this, and you do that by just rocking this. If you don't, you'll have a surprise when you turn on. And then you slip this back in, and if you're like me, you lower the, the guard all the way. It depends on what you're cutting. Sometimes you want this guard up here for a half inch depth of cut, and other times you don't really care and you, you want the guard out of the way. And that's all there is to it. It is a little bit loud, but it does feature a light, and as long as you hold it in the appropriate position, DeWalt's engineers have figured out how to use the exhaust from the motor to blow the dust away from you. Now, if you hold it in the wrong position, it'll give you a face full of dust. And um, one of the things you may not be able to see are all the lights that were cut out with this. And uh, while you know, your results are going to vary based on the skill of the operator, I'm really, really happy with all these cutouts. I've had to go back and touch up a couple of them, but for the most part, they're really good. Um, highly recommend the tool, and uh, unfortunately I don't have anything uh, that's easy to show uh, this in action with. I actually only needed to put a bit in it to do one little touch-up um, for a panel that I, uh, that's upstairs in a bathroom. And uh, I just am not going to film in the bathroom. So, uh, at any rate, uh, thanks for watching my video, and if you have any questions, please leave a, leave a comment. Uh, if you have not also already done so, please subscribe to my videos and uh, feel free to share my video and post it to other places where people may be interested in this topic.